y'all, what's going on? I'm your girl V. And I'm your girl April Love. And welcome to Love Unlocked Talk. <laughs> we oh, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> it took a lot for us. <laughs> it was <laughs> it was a struggle for us to get here this evening. A lot of mouth, a lot of technical difficulties. Uh, <laughs> but we made it. Like, 
get your bag at this point because really what else is there to do you're you're already lit you're famous you're verified you selling your story so get that bag but to get here i don't understand the logic i don't understand the thought process of her spraying gorilla glue on her hair she wanted her hair to be Late. Get the fuck out and of here! And she did like, have I don't her to be blue <laughs> hair, and no. she thought, but that's she the thought explanation wrong. that she gave. Nobody's that dumb to think that. She probably did not think that Gorilla Glue would be that strong. And kudos, that is a great marketing thing because <laughs> I had no idea Gorilla Glue was out there, and now I know that if I want to glue something and it <laughs> to stick and to hold. I need to use Gorilla Glue. I mean, but, I'm sure Gorilla Glue, but like seriously, like, okay. Maybe yes. she has- She said she, when on her ET interview, she said she was in a rush. Her son had her car. This is the excuse she gave. Her son had her car. She was in a hurry. She didn't have transportation to get to the store because she had ran out of got to be glue. And so she saw Gorilla Glue. It, you know, it was the next best thing, and she sprayed it in her hair. So she probably thought maybe somebody had Gorilla Glue in there, and she probably thought that it was like the hair stuff. She could not have possibly. I, I don't it know. It says nowhere was, on the can. But she probably wasn't thinking. She just saw Gorilla Glue. I don't, I don't, you said it's called Gorilla Goo? It's called Gorilla Goo. Is it called, it's Let called Gorilla Glue. Goo. Yeah. Gorilla goo. Gorilla. It's a gel. Okay, well, sh- look. Goo goo. Sounds the same. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. Goo no, you did. did. I um, and I'm this, rationalized the, the this, stupidity. This, 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 this is where I'm at with it. The only thing that I had that was stupid, obviously, that which made it funny, like, said, No, I didn't do this. <laughs> no. It made it funny because it was stupid. <clears throat> However, the thing that I don't, that I'm not really feeling is the people that are coming for her you saying know, that she did it for. I'm mistaken. It's not called Gorilla Goo. It's called Gorilla Goo? No, it's called Moco de Gorilla. Oh. Um, it's, 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 it's hair gel. Gorilla Snot. That's what gorilla it's called. Snot. That's yeah, what it's called. Gorilla Snot, okay. I just doesn't don't, sound like glue to me. I'm just saying. Girl, it's not. Girl, glue. I mean, if you Thank really God. look at the can, they both have gorillas on them. And I'm not saying. It I'm looks not, similar. It's, it's they, the color. In the, in the color. But it says spray adhesive heavy duty. I, I, like, get, I get that if she you wasn't said, reading. No. She was I'm not, not giving me. And you're not getting no benefit of the doubt she, for me on this. She was not reading. My no. only thing, because it was stupid. My only thing is people felt like they realized they, that she did this for clout. And my thing is if you go and look at her page, nothing on her page suggests that she did it for clout. Like there's nothing like if she was like posting a whole bunch of promotional stuff on there and then boom, she went viral. Then okay, cool. I could give y'all that. Well, but she was just a I have to interject because on the TNZ story, it says TikToker. You see, you didn't look on her TikTok. Oh, it she- says TikToker. So she is on TikTok doing things. So she's on TikTok doing yes. things. Is she big on TikTok? I don't know. Because but I'm just, I, I know that she's on TikTok. And I don't know her TikTok name. Yeah, because you have TikTok. I don't have TikTok. I have it. And I I know that. See, I don't know her name, so I wouldn't even know how to look her up. But that's what the article said on TMZ. She sold her story to TMZ. Let's just put that out there. I, the, the thing is, I get it now about seizing an opportunity. Right? Because that's pretty much what she's doing at this point. Hey, I fucked up. But in her interview, she did say, um, I don't want to do this because I don't want people to think. Oh, she said she didn't want to. Because Beyonce's hairstylist offered to make her a wig. 
And the lady was like, girl, you gonna go get your wig? And she was just like, I really don't want to do that because I don't want people to say, oh, well, she did this for clout. See, I told you she went and now she's getting free wigs. She's like, I don't want to do that. So she's like hesitant to do things because she's afraid of what the backlash is going to be. They're going to backlash anyway. I mean, we're, they're going to come for you no matter what you do at this point. they're coming for her already. So you might as well just get your, get your free wigs from Tay and anybody else who offered because... No matter what you do at this point, they're going to come for you. They want their money back. And that's why I'm saying the reason why I think things went the way that they went is because somebody came, once they saw that she got that attention, mm -hmm. somebody came and was like, yo, you're about to be a thing. People are about to be asking you for this, asking you for that. Let me manage you. Let me be this middle person to kind of help you because you're gonna get a lot of attention and you don't want to get free attention. You want to get paid for all this attention. Like she got millions of views on, on her page mm -hmm. of her videos, you know what I'm saying? She went overnight and now got, shoot, I don't even know where she at right now. I mean, it's, it's, so is she almost to a million? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't follow her. What I did was, because she didn't deserve my follow, <laughs> I saved it. And then uh, I just went back and looked at it. Because you're not going to get a follow from me for your stupidity. So like, you're dumb. She's at 828,000 followers at this point. Okay. And she's... Verified now. She is verified. She's certified. With our old manager. Certified clown bitch. Is that? Say nah. She's, okay. She's verified now. And I just feel like somebody knew that that was going to happen. And they were like, yo. Of course. Don't I mean, be getting clown for free. Who's going to get clown with that check? She's not going to capitalize off of this situation. Like, uh, that but manager. I don't think she would have, though. I don't not, think that she would have. Had somebody not came and said, boo, don't get clown for free. I don't know. I, like I said, I, 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 my stance has changed a little bit since you and I talked about it. I do agree um, with the fact that somebody came to her and was like, yo, this is what you need to do moving forward. Let me be, let me manage you. I think that that did happen. I don't think that that was her intention. But I think that the situation could have been rectified way sooner than it was, and that was yesterday. She had her surgery, because I still don't like the fact that it's called a surgery. Like, it looked like you got a shampoo. Like, you was all relaxed. It didn't look like you were in pain. Like, it just looked very That's relaxed. That's why it was a surgery. She got um, some type of... Nah. She... Nah. She, she, no. No. Nah. When she they, was awake. When they had the things in her nose, they gave her something. All right, all something. right, all right. Maybe they gave they her gave something, her. but... It just didn't appear, okay, you, you got me off track of what I was gonna say, I forgot. But I just feel like, oh yeah, she, she, a dermatologist in her city offered for her to come and them to take care of the situation. Why? Why did you not accept there it? Were Why did you offering. wait? But this was a, a reputable dermatologist office. Why did you wait until you were flewed out to LA to get your surgery for free, might I add? You have the money. You have 20 rats. So you could have paid. If it was really that deep, you would have been willing to do anything. Okay? If your hair was really in that much pain, it would have been nothing so, to go so, to this reputable dermatologist offering to help you. So let me just put this in perspective. This literally, she just literally posted this video last week. Mm -hmm. So it was no extended period of time. She literally posted this, not even at the top of the week, okay? We're talking mid, hold on, let me look at the calendar here. <laughs> Gorilla Snart is out of stock, by the way. Huh? <laughs> I thought that was funny. It's out of stock. Gorilla Snart is out of stock, currently. <laughs> so she posted this video on the 3rd, okay? It's the 11th. So she had the surgery yesterday. yesterday. So she had the surgery literally a week later. So I think like if maybe if it had been a month's time and we're sitting there like, yo, so and so offered to do this for you, whiteness, but it's only been a week. So she literally got flooded with a whole bunch of stuff and somebody got to her from Beverly Hills within less than a week and said, hey, we're gonna do this. We're gonna get you flued out, blah, 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 blah. I don't 
see no problem with that. I think my issue with that is if you're in that much pain as she claimed to be, why would you wait? If somebody is saying, I'm telling you, when you're in pain, you're not waiting. If somebody is offering a helping hand and saying it's going to take 20 hours. Maybe. Now in the interview, on the ET interview, she's like, I have small children. I can't afford to be leaving them for 20 hours. But you got flewed out for a surgery that took two to three days. She, she, she contradicted herself multiple times in her interview. I have my reservations on what this was really about. I don't feel bad for her because she could have had it taken care of sooner. I don't care. She she, she, it, it, if you're in pain, you're taking whatever help is offered to you, as long as it's reputable, of course, not some bitch at the fucking house glue and weave to her arm. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is if it's an actual dermatologist's office telling you, come in, we can get this taken care of in 20 hours and you reject it? That I makes think, people question your, your, your Listen, to me, authenticity. I'm, I'm just gonna say that she put that the video went viral her hair didn't really i mean her hair probably started really getting worse when she went to the hospital which was that weekend so it hasn't even been a full like we're like we're talking like she really had a lot going on she probably had so many people reaching out to her offering her solutions offering her this offering her that and we could pinpoint the one two people that said we offered to do this for her and she didn't do it whatever but she probably had a whole bunch of people offering to do something and she has a manager now and it was like no bitch you're gonna go to Beverly Hills you're gonna get flued out all of this is gonna get taken care of don't worry I'm just saying be that's why people are coming for her because you had opportunity to get this taken care of, but you chose to get flued out to LA. I keep saying flued out like it's a real thing. Uh -huh. I know it's flown out, but you know, flued out. Flew so out. you chose that route. It seems very clout-ish. It does not. It does. It seems, it seems, it seems very, very reputable to me. You in Beverly Hills, boo. You about to get this out. You gonna The dermatologist out. down the street was reputable as well. flooding me with hey I'm gonna do this hey I'm gonna that dermatologist probably was not the only person that uh, only probably people. was that she probably had a whole bunch of professionals reaching out to her saying hey you should try you could do shoot even the company uh, <laughs> threw out something no like, they really like, just said yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, that. No, they, <laughs> you're they, a fucking they idiot. said they, they <laughs> said try the the goo with the right. The, they the, said the the goo off. The, yeah, but she they, didn't listen to that either. They, what did she do? She got goof off because she goo, she a goofy. Oh my gosh! Like that's <laughs> what happens. That's what happens when you when you a goofy. You don't you you don't listen. You don't pay attention, and you just a and clown out here. That's why I think that she didn't take up all these other offers. I don't think it's because oh she's trying for clout this clout that. I think it was overwhelming. That was an overwhelming response. And she was trying to do whatever. And she clearly doesn't have... I'm not going to say she doesn't have all the sense. I mean, I'm just saying... She don't. She, she put Gorilla Glue in her hair. So that automatically says a lot about you. Okay? <laughs> and so with that being said, I just feel like... You guys are putting too much on her. The fact that this, she literally posted a video 
a week ago and it's out of her hair within a week. That's not a lot of time to be sitting there like, oh my gosh, you could have, should have. She had a lot of people reaching out. She has almost a million Listen. people following her. She got a GoFundMe now. With Let's how talk much about this GoFundMe. Let's talk about this GoFundMe. Was, that was created Let's for a wig. They, somebody said she probably. She had $21,357 in her GoFundMe. And counting. Now, million. do you know that in her comments, people are reporting this GoFundMe? They are reporting it. They want their money back. People are pissed. <laughs> they said, hold up. We, we were rooting for you. We felt bad for you. We wanted to help you. But you're not showing us any updates. All you're doing is posting what you're doing. You have a manager. You're verified. I feel taken advantage of. I want my money back. And so they're emailing. They're, they're trying to get her uh, GoFundMe taken down. And it's probably going to happen. Because people who... She didn't pay any, there was no out-of-pocket expense for her surgery, no out-of-pocket expense for her flight. She only asked for $1,500 and she got way more than that. So they're gonna look at all of these facts and nine times out of 10, they do take these sites down and she will not get this money. But, which, which, which I believe is fair. I feel I like, know. I feel like you don't get compensated for being stupid. But people, but people saw that her stuff, like even now somebody donated an hour ago they, when they click on the link, they see that she's well over what she asked for. And they're for. still and donating. That's what I'm saying. So if they're deciding to donate to her, that's not her problem. It's not. But it's 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 it's, it's a okay. little it's a little dishonest because How? you because you you An said hour ago they know that her hair they they had if not they, everybody know. See that here's the thing. Her thing says it's for mental. Or medical illness and healing. You need, like, please, <laughs> like, looking at this as GoFundMe. Medical illness and healing. Okay, you don't need $21,000 to heal. You had it taken care of for free. So your explanation for having a GoFundMe is null and void at this point. Is it not? I don't see nothing wrong with her having her GoFundMe. I see, I, 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 I see, let me just say I, this. I think let, me they just, should, let me just say this. I think they should give her I, what she asked for. So listen, I I um had a neighbor whose daughter passed away. And she was in a rough space. She had, I want to say she had like four or five kids and her daughter passed away, got shot, mm -hmm. and, and passed away. It became a big story. Mm -hmm. She regular, regular ghetto chick, right? <laughs> and she was struggling to just manage prior to whatever. Mm -hmm. They created GoFundMe for her. Her thing went sky high. And guess what? Her thing made news. They paid for everything. So what her thing, They, I think they created GoFundMe so that she could have the arrangements and all that right. paid for. All of that got paid for by somebody. Somebody separate from the GoFundMe said, we're going to cover all of this. She still needed that money, That's though. That's different. She lost a child. She You're lost comparing a somebody no, staying with their hands I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying they created a GoFundMe to cover costs that were already taken care of. But it's of. still emotional distress. So, so you say she, you, don't need, you don't need money for emotional distress? You do, because you are obviously not in the mental space to go on the way that you would. Maybe she was so fucked up that she couldn't work no more. Okay, That's well, this different. has affected Get the hell out of here. This, this is her job. Get out of here, y'all. This has this, affected her work. Get out of here. This is not the she's same taking, in any regard. She's in California, no. away from making money. Good. Bye. What are you talking about? <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. You, talking about? you do not get $20,000 for being an idiot. Because that's what she is. People, She's people stupid as fuck. She old as shit. You're 40. You know better. Glue, gorilla, glue, glue, girl. Oh gorilla, glue, gosh. lady. Because oh you old. Gosh. And you know better. If you, like, you, you have four children. And one is in his 20s. And so he's humiliated, I'm sure. Like, I'm sure that, like, she's his boys is clowning. Probably not, though, yeah. because I don't even think she has enough common sense to she, be humiliated. Her post suggested that she... Where? Her post Where? on her page suggested that she Where? was not feeling the attention, the negative...
commentary that people like yourself. That's not a question. <laughs> that people like yourself have to give to her. I don't care what she feels. She deserves it for being an idiot. Like, okay, here's the bottom line. All okay, right. Get to it. The bottom line is it. you made a very simple minded, simple minded mistake. Okay? Because you didn't read what you were putting in you your just hair. You paying attention at no. all. Unacceptable. Okay? You, it's your hair. You read. I read everything. I make sure that it's natural. I make sure it's organic. I make sure there's no, you know, not touching on animals. I make sure all of that stuff. No logical woman or, or right mind, woman in her right mind is just spraying some shit in her hair that she's, that's foreign. Like you're not picking up anything. Oh, a spray can. Shh. Who does that? No one. Big blue baby. Yeah, stop it. Like, okay, so not only, uh, like, just to me, I feel like she's being rewarded. And so in turn, more stupidity is going to follow. Which because, has already. Which has already. Homeboy, what, uh, roll the glue his lip to a cup or whatever the fuck? A cup to his lip? And he might lose his lip? Is he going to be compensated for that? Like, this is the trend. This is what's happening. And when we make these people famous and we oh reward gosh. this idiotic behavior and all it does is continue more idiotic behavior. It's just wild to me. Well, why would you do it to your lip? Okay, that's, that's a whole that's other story. Stupid, but <laughs> now that she has this a newfound viral fame, she is going to forever be the Gorilla Glue Girl. <laughs> Good GG GG girl. Uh, and Tragic. people are now starting to use that as them saying like, boo, nah, we good. We use gorilla glue. <laughs> people are fine. Like, it's a joke she, though. Like, I don't know if I would want to be a meme. But she you can know what I'm saying? now. She can, and like I said before, she can totally start a hairline care. Yes. I care a, a line of hair care products. I don't know who would follow it because she's dingy, but she can totally get with a reputable company and start a hair care line and say, look, this is how my hair is starting to grow back. This is my product. GG, she, GG hair products. Or she can create some bomb gel that got to be glue, gorilla glue, glue, GG girl glue, something. Like I said. And have her hair slicked. Or she could she could be um get endorsement. She she could have a uh, gel companies having her market their stuff because it's like you know it gotta be good if Gorilla Girls <laughs> are <Stop. laughs> <Stop it right laughs> like you I'm not mad at her bag. Like get your bag. Like you better. You know what I mean. Get that bag while you can. Well before this shit fizzle out because. Next week, a week, a week after that, ain't nobody gonna know your name. Like you're the hot thing I right now. I don't know her name either, but <laughs> you're the hot thing right now. So uh, get yourself a contract of something and better yourself, better your life, and hopefully you go to school or something and get oh an education gosh. because clearly something right. Yeah, like I said, I, you don't have to go to the school <laughs> tonight. No, tonight. I'm gonna need you to this stop trying to rebuttal my 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 my. <laughs> My voice, like I want to be heard at what I say. You okay. need some type of education, sis. You need some type of tutoring or some type of maybe, maybe, a, maybe a life coach. Something, something's wrong. Okay, I need you to get that together so that you can be a successful businesswoman in the end. You know, you don't gotta be this viral meme. You don't gotta be gorilla glue girl. You can be a gorilla girl entrepreneur. You can be. Something else, but right now you dumb and you are goofy. And good luck to you though. I really hope that it really, it really, you know, you get your bag and you you keep stacking. You have a manager now, so I am going to agree with the last part. <laughs> I hope that you get your bag too if you are watching this. Yes, GG girl. <laughs> Get you some type of endorsement. Have somebody having your hair laid and say, it got to be glue, baby. Stop. <laughs> I'm just saying. People are going to be like, oh my gosh. Nah. Really but, oh, would you buy her products? 
Keep it, keep I, it 100. I, first of all, I wear locks. I have locks. You, so can like, have, you can have you can have baby hairs, but you slick your baby hairs down with her products. Would you take it from her? <laughs> if she had a whole bunch of <laughs> answer the question, <laughs> Angela. Answer it. I don't know. Okay. That's not gonna. Yeah, that's that's the answer. I don't know. Goodbye. But I'm just saying. There are people that are going to support her. There are. And There's people I supporting just, her as we speak. Yes. And so I hope that I'm all for people being blessed. So if that's, if this what it was, if this was your big break, she just won the lottery in a sense. She did. Now she, did. she can run with it. And I think that there are avenues that she can go to kind of keep the hype going. And she will forever be known as the she girl. She will. I, 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 I agree. And I, you know, like I said, I don't agree with being rewarded for stupid, stupid cool. acts. But you're here now. So be smart about it and get your bag and make sure that your manager don't rob you because you don't know nothing because you slow. But that's just all I'm going to say about the situation. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Love A Lot Talk. Make sure that <laughs> if you are single and you are interested in meeting somebody, Valentine's Day is right around the corner, but yes. you know, this is after Valentine's Day, but you can still meet a little babe. You know what I mean? Right. After Valentine's Day, the chocolate is cheaper than So we are having a speed dating, virtual speed dating event on February 18th at 7.30. If you are interested in attending, there is still time to sign up. Email me at loveunlock19 at gmail.com or DM me on Instagram, which I hope you guys are following. And please make sure you subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, but also you can DM me on Instagram at loveunlockedllc and I will make sure that I get you plugged in. And we will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey y'all, it's your girl V and your girl April Luck. And we are your hosts of Love and Lock Talk. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, like, and comment below. And let us know what you want us to discuss for future episodes. Also, please follow us on Instagram at Love Unlocked LLC for updates.